You are listening to the Morning Cruise Control on Eagle ATM. Boy! 809, Miley Cyrus right there with We Can't Stop. It's Kellen here on the Morning Cruise Control, and I also have in the studio with me from the 374th Fire and Emergency Services, Senior Airman Chris Hobbs and Senior Airman Kyle Worth. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. How you doing this morning? Hey, you know what? It, it's one of those days. It's my last day on the show, so I'm a little bit sad about I that. Know, right? But you know, at the same time, I can't let you know. I can't let people down. I got to right, keep right. that energy going. Yeah, and definitely, you know, we're gonna miss you on here. It, I heard the other day, you know, you were leaving. I was like, what? Why are you getting rid of him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you know, things happen and people have to change up some things and switch up. So that's right. how it's gonna be. But it's all good. We're gonna still roll and, and keep things going. I, have you guys had a chance to see that ESPN the body? Uh, you know, they're gonna release that issue. It's coming out pretty soon. I don't know if you guys had a chance to see that. Picture on Instagram. Yeah, which one did you see? There's a bunch of different covers. <laughs> the, it, the winter sports the winter yeah. sports girls yeah yes yes i don't remember her name <laughs> i don't remember either I, there's a bunch of covers and i'm like i love espn the body issue every yeah. I, I got a subscription to espn magazine and uh i love it when this uh, uh, um one comes out <laughs> but not necessarily the one with prince fielder <laughs> the uh baseball player prince yeah. fielder uh, not so much with prince fielder but kind of the rest of them but anyway we got you guys in the studio today Always covering some important topics, you know, right. pressing out some great information. And uh, what are some things we'll cover in this hour? Uh, so this morning we're going to talk a little bit about fire extinguishers, and I'll let uh, Sam Worth take over the rest. We're going to talk about smoke detectors and fire prevention week. Oh, snap. And I understand you have some facts for me talking about the differences between smoky and sparky. I do. We're not going to reveal those just yet, though, folks. you got to stick around this hour. Again, we have 374 Fire and Emergency Services. Airman Hobbs and Airman Worth in the studio. We're going to have a good time. And we have movie trivia. Uh, how's your movie trivia, uh, Worth? A little bit better than Airman Hobbs. A little better than Hobbs. <laughs> Hobbs. Hey, you know, if no one calls in, I'm going to have to step out, you know, call in. Get, <laughs> give me some free food, you know. <laughs> we will be playing movie trivia around 8.30 after your Pacific Radio Report, so stick around for that. But in the meantime, it's time for us to get back into the music. Gavin DeGraw is coming up next. But first, here's Bastille with Bad Blood. 817, Gavin DeGraw right there, make a move. Hey, it's Kellen here in the Eagle 810 studio, and I have joining me, we have Airman Worth and Airman Hobbs, and we're talking about, they're from the 374th Fire and Emergency Services, if you didn't know, and uh, we're talking fire extinguishers here in the first segment. So what what do you guys have for us? Just make sure you know where your fire, fire extinguisher is located. Don't hide it in your kitchen. Make sure you know where it is. Make sure everybody in the house knows where it is, just in case for some reason you'd have to use it hopefully you never have to but if you do need to use it make sure everybody knows where it's located uh, make sure you inspect your fire extinguishers uh, once a month make sure the needles in the green the pin is in the handle and there's no dents or deformities nothing in the hose bugs like to crawl up in the hose just be careful of that you don't need critters don't need bugs in the you don't hose. need you don't need critters coming out of your fire extinguisher when you're already trying to put out a fire at causes more panic i couldn't uh, imagine you go to put out a fire and then cockroaches are cockroach shooting out. <laughs> flying out everywhere and oh gross yeah but uh we definitely want to make it clear that it's not your responsibility to extinguish a fire it's obviously the fire department's responsibility but if you feel comfortable that you can fight the fire you know and uh save the cost you know damage please do but we want to make sure everyone gets out safely you know don't uh ever put yourself in a situation where you're going to try to fight this fire you know with no protective gear on or anything like that and then you get caught and something does happen, you know, we'll make that clear. You know, it's our, our job, our responsibility. So, if you, I, like I said, if you feel confident, go ahead. But if you don't, please just go ahead and evacuate. I think another thing, you know, is good. You guys are saying, you know, make sure everyone knows where the fire extinguisher is at. Right. And, and it's it's that simple. People are like, uh, duh. But, yeah. no, you really think about it is in the event of an emergency, if people don't have, like, if you haven't made it obvious. Clear hey, and evident. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, when you, you go into a panic. That'll be the first, you know, nobody's going to think about, oh, I got the fire extinguisher. So, on the the that's the first thing you forget about. But yeah, if you yeah. make it a point to really point it out and be like, hey, here's the fire extinguisher. And the kids know and everyone yeah. in the house is, is very aware of that. That's definitely something. Because yeah. yeah. in, mo- in a moment of panic, you forget a lot of stuff. Right. We, we suggest you leave it out, you know, where everyone can see it. You know, we see a lot of people that hide it up under their sinks. You know, stuff piles up under there. You know, stuff piles up in the closets. Uh, I know a lot of people don't want a big... 10-pound fire extinguisher sitting on their counter or something like that. You know, that's not decorative or whatever. <laughs> whatever. But, uh, you know, it's definitely, it's definitely a help, you know, especially if you have small kids, you know. 
hopefully that they're oh, sorry let me rephrase that <laughs> you know maybe older kids that are actually able to put out a fire you know make sure they know where it's at just in I, case anything does happen. i can see somebody's wife trying to you know make it match the decor and like <laughs> it's no longer red it's like black and silver trimming yeah no, with, right. with a little paint on it yeah a little bird basket <laughs> on top of it and you know, don't do that either. Make yeah, no, it, no, no, no. it so it's easily yeah. identifiable. Exactly. Yeah, like I said, we know a lot of people. We know uh, hide them and stuff like that. So if you do, if you are putting them up, make sure you know where they're at. But we do suggest you keep them out in the open. And like I said, you know, I understand that it's not decorative. You know, so it's okay. It's yeah. not, it doesn't have to be decorative. <laughs> it's it's gonna save lives. Yeah, exactly. that, that, that's that's the main point. Seat belts aren't cute either, but yeah. they save lives. No, they, those things wrinkle your shirts, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing I always think. I put my, got your blues on or something. Yeah. I'm like, oh, man, it's going to smash my ribbons. My, you know, but, I know, right? But they do save lives, yep. and that's the most important part of it. All right, yep. stick around. We're going to be talking about smoke detectors, and we got movie trivia coming up here in a bit. But first, we got to get to a small break, and your weather and yen rate coming right up. Here's your weather. All right, let's take a look outside of our Eagle 810 studio. It is 72 degrees. Today, you can expect scattered thunderstorms, with today's highs rising to the upper 80s. Tonight, cloudy skies. Tonight's lows are going to drop down to the mid-70s. And tomorrow, we got showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow's highs are going to be in the lower 80s, and tomorrow's lows in the lower 70s. Today's exchange rate is 100 yen to the U.S. dollar, courtesy of Community Bank. It's now 8.23, so we'll have that Kanto connection coming up in a moment. And again, movie trivia, win free food courtesy of Dakota Exchange Food Court right here on the Morning Cruise Control just for knowing this clip that I'm going to play, and I'll give you some tips and hints for it because you're going to need it. Hey, back to the music, though. Black Keys right here with their jam. It's called Fever. 8.30, Charlie XCX right there with the Boom Clap. Hey, it's Kellen and the 374th Fire and Emergency Services, Senior Airman Hobbs, and also Senior Airman Worth. And we're talking offline about, uh, you know, you got to be careful, folks. You got to be careful what you send. Now, uh, Senior Airman Hobbs, you had a pretty good story. You got to share that. I'm sorry. Go. So, uh, the other day, you know, I was uh, laying on the couch, you know, my wife, you know, messing around on the iPad, you know, trying to get her attention, you know. I don't want her, you know, messing with the iPad, you know. I'm, I'm home, you know, I want to talk to her. So, uh, I took a selfie, you know, a funny one. Yeah. <laughs> don't look like I didn't have no teeth or anything like that, you know. It was, it was pretty funny, and yeah. uh, so uh, you know, I'm texting on my phone. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get her, you know. It's gonna scare. Her. She's like, oh, what, you know, what is this? And so, uh, you know, I start sending it. And I put all these emojis, you know, you know, little kisses and everything, you know, <laughs> just to mess with her. And uh, I realize I'm sending it to the wrong guy. I'm sending it to a guy that works with me. <laughs> you send it to someone that works with you. He's got the emojis, the, the kissy faces, yeah, and everything. You know, it's got it's got my <laughs> selfie on there. <laughs> and then and then what happened? So, um, you know, I tell my wife, I'm like, oh, man, you know, I messed up. I messed up. You know, I was supposed to send this picture to you, but I sent it to my buddy Moore. <laughs> and uh, so next thing you know, I get a tag on Facebook. Oh, this guy, you know, he put me on blast. He, he, he put me on blast, man. He left it up there for about four or five hours. So <laughs> you know, everyone out there, the fire department right now is probably, you know, laughing at this story because I'm sure, you know, most of them have seen that picture. <laughs> so, you know, pretty embarrassing. So. <laughs> That's all right. It happens. I, I just wish they need to come out with something where it's like, are you sure? You know, yeah, like, I know, right? After you click send, there needs to be a are you sure, <laughs> are you sure or like a, a 30 seconds to where you could actually cancel the right, message. You know? I was something. thinking everything. I was like, oh, man, if I get up and pl unplug the internet, Try you know, about, <laughs> maybe it was Sid. You know? I, was, I was too slow, obviously. Uh, well, we've been talking about fire extinguishers, though. But now let's talk about smoke detectors. What a segue right there, right, in the, in the yeah, smoke detectors. Right. So what do you have for us? I information on uh, smoke detectors and things we need to be cautious of. Uh, just make sure you're testing your smoke detectors every month. Um, good rule of thumb is if, you, if your smoke detectors have batteries in them, some uh, uh, base housing, they're hardwired into electrical systems, some have batteries. If you change the clocks, change the batteries in your smoke detectors. So it gives about every six months, you're, six months you're changing your batteries or so. Um, don't paint over them. A lot of people paint their walls in their house. Some people like to... Paint over the smoke detector? Yeah, don't paint over the smoke detector. At, what, you know, like to what to cover it up? Like it, pretty much, yeah. So it'll blend it, in with the rest. Exactly. You, you wouldn't believe some of the stuff we see. I'm, I, I'm telling you. I, no, I wouldn't believe it. <laughs> I would. I would go into houses slapping people. Yeah. I'd be in there like, what are you doing? So a uh, big problem we have is with the dorms. Uh, you know, we do we do dorm inspections every year. You know, we only pick a certain percent of the rooms, but it seems like we always get to. You know, I pick the lucky ones. <laughs> so we go into some of these rooms, you know, and these people painted over them or they're you know hanging down, hanging from the wire, <laughs> stuff like that. So don't hang anything off your smoke detector. Yeah, definitely. 
But why not? Why can't you hang anything off the smoke detector? I'm just asking for the people who do it. Yeah, you know, it can interfere, you know, cause false la- false activations. Or cause your smoke detector not to activate if yeah. it's blocking the smoke. If you hang a shirt from it and it's blocking the smoke from coming through, it might not activate in time. That, that's very true. I, I'm, I just had to represent for the people that don't have very much common sense. Right. That's yeah. all I'm trying yeah. to do. <laughs> um, so don't kill the messenger, please. Right. <laughs> and, go ahead. I'm sorry. Another uh, For the base housing, um, for the... The garden units, your smoke detectors are a local alarm only, so it's only going to go off in your house. So if your smoke detector is going off and there is a fire, make sure you call 911. Get out of your house and call 911. It's not going to bring directly to the fire department if you're in a garden unit. All right. Well, that's pretty simple right there. Then I just want to throw a couple more things in there for the dorm yep. residents. You guys, uh, smoke detectors are wired directly in the fire department. Anytime they go off, the fire department's going to come knocking at your door. So make sure you guys are evacuated. It no, it'll know exactly which dorm room you know. Um, it'll it'll go off, go straight to the fire department. It'll give a building. We'll go there. We'll go to that building. And then we'll go to the alarm panel. And it'll say, you know, what sector. So that sector could be, you know, second floor, south wing. So we have to search all those rooms for one activated detector. Wow. So, you know, it just takes a while. And uh, we want, you know, dorm residents to understand that, you know, there's nothing really that we can do about it. And uh, we want you guys to evacuate. We've been having a lot of problems with uh, dorm residents getting complacent and not evacuating. You know, they think, oh, you know, it's just another alarm activation, false activation. But there's going to be that one time where you think it's a false activation, it's actual fire. So we, we definitely want to get it out there because, like I said, it's been happening quite a bit lately that uh, they haven't been evacuating. Definitely. Words to the wise right there. Make sure it's all about safety, folks. That's right. what they're doing. Yep. Fire and safety. Fire safety. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about Fire Prevention Week and much more later. But guess what? We're two minutes away from movie trivia to see if these gentlemen can figure it out. And if not, well, it doesn't matter if they can figure it out. you got to figure it out. Call 225-2379 if you know the movie clip that's coming up here in two minutes after your Pacific Radio Report. Go ahead. Make my day. And now it's time for movie trivia. <laughs> Call Eagle 810 if you know the name of the movie. And today's movie is... What is this? What is this? Buddha, Samurai, Oki. Peaceful inside. Outside warrior. Put that on a kyako, Mr. Biro. I love you, Max. I love you too much. You know, you have no. You have no. Marvelous? You have no marvelous! Yeah, relax. Marvelous? Huevos? <sighs> that was today's movie trivia. Call 225 2379 or 042 552. 2510 extension 52379 with the answer. Phone home. May the force be with you. 843. I'm still looking for a winner for today's movie trivia. Had some people call in, had Karate Kid was one answer, then another person said no marvels. They thought that was the name of the movie. No. We uh the the hints for today's movie trivia, it was filmed in 1989. It features Charlie Sheen, Wesley Snipes, and Rene Russo. The main character is Ricky Wild Thing Vaughn, and it's based around the Cleveland Indians baseball team. That is today's tips or hints for movie trivia. Call us up now, 225-2379, with the correct answer. Or if you're off base on a mobile phone, 042-552-2510. Again, features Charlie Sheen, Wesley Snipes, Rene Russo, Ricky Wild Thing Vaughn, the Cleveland Indians, and filmed in 1989. We're going to have more from the 374th Fire and Emergency Services after Lumineers with Ho Hey. 
846. Eagle 8's in. Who's this? This is Dave. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Dave. How you doing, brother? All right. You got a winner yet? No, I do not have a winner. I've been getting all these wrong answers. I, I need somebody to give me the correct answer, Dave. You mean nobody knows this? Major League? It is Major League. Yes, <laughs> one of my favorite movies. We got Ricky Wild Thing Vaughn, Willie Mays Hayes, played by Wesley Snipes. It was, that was an excellent movie, Dave. Yeah, it's got that Japanese local dude, too, the comedian. Yeah, uh, what's his name? Tanaka, I think, or something like that. Yeah, he played a very small role in that movie, but that's yeah, that was the clip I played with the no marbles. I thought people would get that like instantly, but <laughs> nobody, it didn't really jump off to anybody. But Dave, where, where are you trying to go eat lunch at today, brother? Oh man, how about just uh, a ticket for all the places? Take a ticket for all the places. <laughs> all right, it's my last day on the show, so I'll give you a ticket for all the places, Dave. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> man, no, you can't do that. Uh, it's all good, man. Let's do uh, Subway. Subway it is, Dave. And uh, all you gotta do is tell me, brother, who's your favorite radio station? Oh, it's Eagle Eight Ten, especially with you guys. All right, Dave, we'll have your ticket waiting for you, brother. Take care. <laughs> All right, man, later. And uh, we're back in the Eagle 810 studio. That I actually just took that live. You know, normally I kind of record that, but we went ahead and took it live. Senior Airman Hobbs and Senior Airman Worth in the studio with us from the 374th Fire and Emergency Services. And uh, so, gentlemen, we've been talking about fire extinguishers. We talked smoke detectors. Now let's talk fire prevention week. All right, so uh, Fire Prevention Week, you know, it's a big thing for the fire departments all around the states, you know, all the uh, the bases. And this is going to be not only happening at Dakota, it's going to be happening at all the bases, you know, here in Japan. You can get with your local fire department to get more details. But uh, I got the details here for your Dakota. So if you're on your Dakota or you want to come to your Dakota to check out our Fire Prevention Week Festival, uh, it's going to be the October 5th through the 11th. So and, a week long, obviously, because yeah, it's Fire Prevention Week. Definitely. And our, our theme this year is Smoke Detector Saves Lives. So... I'm surprised you guys didn't get a month like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, Seems like I know, every right? other thing has a theme, has a month. You guys just got a week. Yeah, but you know, we got to deal with what we get. So uh, we always, you know, set up in the BX parking lot. We have the smokehouse. You know, Sparky's always out there, and it's going to be a good time. And you know, more details are going to come out as the closer it gets. But we want to go ahead and uh, let people know that this is what's happening and when it's happening and what the theme is going to be. And I think uh, Aaron Worst got a. Uh, some uh, was, yeah, interesting say, facts. Last time we were on here, we, we talked about Smokey and Sparky. Because yeah. growing up, yeah. I always thought Smokey was <laughs> the man with fire. But yep. I guess that's not the case. Uh, Sparky is for the NFPA's mascot. It came, he came about in around 1951. He was created to help teach uh, little kids about fire safety. And every, every kid loves dogs, so they came up with a dog. Smokey the Bear was created by an advertising agency to help prevent uh, forest fires back in 1944. Interesting. We got a call real quick. Eagle 810, who's this? This is Ted. How you doing? Hey, Ted. We got you on live right now. You calling, you're probably calling about movie trivia, aren't you? Yeah, did you already get it? Uh, yeah, I already got a winner. But what, what's the answer? Do you know? Yeah, Major League 2. No, no it was actually Major League 1. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> then I didn't know the answer. Huh? <laughs> That's all right. You sounded a little dejected, but you got. You know what, Ted? You did. You did a lot better than some of the other people that called. They gave me some wild. I had coming to America. I had Karate Kid. I had no <laughs> marbles. So, Ted, what's your last name, Ted? McHugh. McHugh. Spell that for me. M C H U G H. H U G H. And uh, where would you like a coupon to? Hmm. Anywhere. You pick it, brother. All right. Uh, you like. You like Anthony's Pizza or Subway? Subway. Subway, it is. All you got to do is pick it up at AFN Tokyo whenever you get a chance. Cool. Ted. Thank you, man. Hey, not a problem, brother. Take care. Bye. All right, gentlemen. Sorry for that uh, That little oh, yeah. break. People this, blowing this is your up. show. You know, we're you. just here. What's that? Whenever you ask people to say their favorite radio station, does anybody ever get it wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's actually an excellent question because, yes, they do. Like, I've had people call in. And they'll be like, uh, AFN. And I'll be like, no. no. <laughs> or they'll be like, uh, The Eagle or uh, 810. They won't know. And I'll be like, yeah. Eagle 810? And they'll be like, yeah, yeah, Eagle yeah, 810. That one. That one. <laughs> yeah. So we have had that happen a few times. It's it's actually quite hilarious, especially when it happens live. Because yeah. then I'm like, oh, I can't edit this one. Yeah. Can't, ch <laughs> can't chop that up. So right. that's good stuff. But, uh, you, you know, you, you talk about the difference between Sparky and Smokey, Smokey the Bear. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're going all over the place. I know, right? <laughs> so Smokey is, is outdoor fires. Yeah. Sparky Kinda is. Kind like wildfires. Wild wild Smokey's, yeah, Smokey's wildfires. Uh, Sparky is just the overall NFPA's mascot. See, I don't understand why Smokey was so popular then growing up because I'm from Missouri. We don't have very many wildfires, any wildfires yeah. at all. And yet, Smokey I think, was the most popular one. I think one. we just, as a military base, you know, we're such a small community. I think, you know, the fire departments here, not saying that fire departments in the states don't get out a lot, but I think, you know, fire departments on bases get out a Definitely. whole lot, you know, and they, more, they, you know, they make Sparky a big guy. So, 
Well, smart, Smokey and Sparky should probably have a fight and know, see who right? wins. <laughs> Battle of the mascots. Yeah, so uh, I'll just go over a little recap. You know, we went over fire extinguishers. Make sure you're not hiding them anywhere. Make sure everyone's know where, know where they're at. Know where they are at. They got a 12 year shelf life. Don't forget about that. Um, smoke detectors, common sense people. You know, just keep them clean. Keep them, uh, uh, you, like I said, you can take a can of air and spray them out, you know, if you think they're getting too dusty or dirty. And then we got Fire Prevention Week coming up the 5th through the 11th of October. Be looking for more information. It's going to be coming out about that. And then uh, I just want to say one thing. We What's got that? our C commander, Colonel Gobb. He's uh, his, he's going to be leaving us here soon. Okay. So we're having a going away barbecue today at the fire department at 1100. So any CE people that are listening out there right now, please go get your tickets from the customer service counter. It's $5 a piece. It's going to be a great time. And, uh, you know, Colonel Gobb, he's done a lot for us. So we want to give him a good barbecue, you know, good going away. All right. Well, shout out to CE. And, uh, gentlemen, I got to say, it's been a pleasure having you on. Senior Airman Hobbs, like, yeah, you've been doing this for a little bit. I know, man. I'm going to miss you. Yeah, man. I'm going to miss having you on as well, man. It's It's been a pleasure. Senior Airman Work, you got, you're going to have a good my, time. My first time on the show, and this is your last. I know. I know. <laughs> you know what, though? Listen, you're going to do fantastic, guys. And uh, just continue having fun and, and spreading the word, getting that good uh, fire prevention uh, word out there. So yeah, we definitely. do appreciate it each and every other week definitely. here on the Morning you know, Cruise We Control. appreciate you having us. Not a problem. Stay tuned. We got your weather, your yin rate, and more music on the way. Here's your weather. All right. Let's take a look outside of our Eagle 810 studio. It's 74 degrees. Today, you can expect scattered thunderstorms with today's highs rising to the upper 80s. Tonight, cloudy skies. Tonight's lows are going to drop down to the mid-70s. And tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow's highs are going to be in the lower 80s and tomorrow's lows in the lower 70s. Today's exchange rate is 100 yen to the U.S. dollar, courtesy of Community Bank. It's 8.54, and I'm, I'm trying to slow the time down because I'm not ready for my time to end here on the board of cruise control. But goodness gracious, it's flying on by. Hey, stick around. We're going to have Camp Zama's own Mike Larkin. That's in our next hour. But we got more music in the meantime. Here's the Neon Trees sleeping with a friend. How's it going, everybody? This is Kevin. And this is AJ from Lit. You're listening to the Morning Cruise Control on Eagle 810. 858. Got Squirrel in the studio with me. What's up, brother? I don't know. I just wanted to say uh, thank you very much for all your time here uh, on Eagle 810. Really appreciate it. Now, I came in here in November, and this radio station was already, like, number one, and everybody loved it. And it was all because of the hard work that you put into it. So I, I know you don't wouldn't eat cake. But I do know your Achilles heel, and so I, I brought in some fresh donuts. I got some specially glazed uh, ones that were fresh out of the oven You're for you. You're killing me. I'm going to go home, about to try to have beach body ready, and here he comes in with all these delicious donuts. Round, round is the shape. And and you got you got, you got got some uh, people nipping at the heels. Oh, yeah. Cause They're waiting because like... they want to get a donut. I, I brought them in. They have to go. They had to, well, you got to get at least one, three, four first. All right. Well, you know what, Squirrel? I do appreciate that. I'm going to miss doing squirrelisms with you. Yeah. Uh, you know, you helping me out with the average Joe's people. People don't realize how much hard work goes into that, yeah. and you were always helping me at that, and I do appreciate yeah. that. Well, as we'll well. still have you in here every now and then. I'm, I'll make sure you don't go too far away from I, radio. I certainly hope not. Yeah. I, I certainly hope not. Hey, stick around, folks. We got the AP Radio News, and then we'll have Camp Zama's own Mike Larkin joining us on the show right here on Eagle 810's Morning Cruise Control. Yeah, yeah.